Good evening, I'm Dawn Scott. Happening right now, Camden police actively search for a man they say killed a woman and her four-year-old son. Police say Jory Worthen is considered very dangerous. He may be driving the victim's car, a white 2007 Honda Accord with the Arkansas license plate you can see there on your screen. He is wanted in the deaths of Alyssa Cannon and her son, Braden Ponder. They had a protective order against Worthen, who she had once lived with. It was issued by a judge back in 2017. Police found them dead in their home around 1245 this afternoon after family reported they'd been missing since Saturday. A four-year-old boy and his mother found dead inside their home in Camden today. And now police and an entire community look for answers. THV 11's Melissa Zigowitz is live outside of the home where police found the bodies. Melissa, what do we know so far? Marlisa Craig, certainly a devastating day here in Camden. I'm told there has not been a homicide in here in years, but today police found Alyssa Cannon and her four year old son dead inside their home just behind me here. And now police are looking for the boyfriend. The most awful tragedy that's ever hit this close to home. Just outside the home of Alyssa Cannon and her four year old son, Braden Ponder. Just Saturday this past weekend, we seen the little boy out playing. Neighbors laid down teddy bears and footballs after the two were found dead inside Tuesday afternoon. It was nice neighbors, you know, they didn't bother anyone. We do not have a clue. We, we we do not know what what started this. Dana Weatherby with Camden Police says Alyssa's family came to the department Tuesday morning to report a missing person. Her, her son and her boyfriend have not been um, seen or spoken to since Saturday. Weatherby says officers knocked down the door to the home just after noon. And found Alyssa and her four year old little boy um, deceased. Weatherby says police are actively searching for Alyssa's boyfriend, Jory Worthen. He is believed to be driving a 2007 white Honda Accord. We've got a large timeline from Saturday to Tuesday. Weatherby says she believes the two just recently got back together. There possibly were domestic violence issues in the past. According to court documents, Alyssa filed an order of protection against Worthen in 2017. She did not do anything to drop that order. Neighbors say this tragedy has left this once quiet neighborhood extremely upset. And just to wake up and know that this happened in your front yard, it's it's just awful. And the man suspected of killing his girlfriend and her four year old son is still on the run tonight. Camden police hope someone knows where they can find Jory Worthen. It's been three weeks since the murders and tonight THV 11's Melissa Zigowitz speaks to the victim's mom about her loss as police share new photos of their suspect. Police say after killing the child and Alyssa Cannon, her boyfriend, 24 year old Jory Worthen took off in her 2007 white Honda Accord and they hope you've seen it or him. Terrible. Our, you know, our whole world is turned upside down. For the last three weeks, Angela Cannon has lived a mother's worst nightmare. On June 25th, Camden police found her daughter Alyssa Cannon dead inside her home. She was very outgoing and had a big heart. Alyssa's four year old son, Braden, was also killed. He was just full of life. It, 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 they didn't deserve what happened to them at all. Police have been unable to find Alyssa's boyfriend, 24 year old Jory Worthen, since. They had had incidences before. Angela has set up a GoFundMe to try and raise money for anyone who gives police information that leads to his arrest. If enough money is raised for it, they'll give him up. Somebody has to be helping him. We're just trying to locate the vehicle just to see if we could find the, the car. Dana Weatherby with Camden Police says the department has received over 500 tips since the murders, but none of them have panned out. At this point, he, he could be anywhere. Weatherby says Worthen is covered with tattoos on his chest and arms. Police also ask you be on the lookout for Alyssa's white Honda Accord. If they see anybody that remotely looks like him, has those kind of signature tattoos, call us. The tattoos are a dead giveaway. Angela says she's not giving up until Worthen is found. But I hope he rots in prison. That's what I want him found alive and I want him to rot in prison the rest of his life. 
Again, please ask you be on the lookout for a 2007 white Honda Accord with the license plate number 921YBE. Please say finding the car could lead them to Worthen or more evidence. Camden Police Chief has personally put up a $1,000 reward for the arrest of a man suspected of killing a woman and her four-year-old son back in June. 24-year-old Jory Worthen has been on the run since their murders. And Teesfield Evans' Melissa Zigowicz shows us how the department is working 24-7 to find him. Yeah, Craig, last Wednesday, police arrested Montez Woods after an anonymous tip revealed he may have helped Jory Worthen get away, but police still have yet to find him. Over five weeks after police found Alyssa Cannon and her four-year-old son Brayden dead inside their home in Camden, Alyssa's mother Angela still has no answers as to what happened on June 25th. I mean, how could he hide for that long? I mean, he's, he's had to have had help. Camden police found a substantial amount of evidence indicating Alyssa's boyfriend, 24-year-old Jory Worthen, committed the murders, but he has yet to be found. Sometimes I get messages like, I've seen him here, or I've seen him there. And I don't understand. Why didn't you call the police? But last week, Camden police received an anonymous tip that led investigators to Montez Woods. Police found he met with Worthen and Chittister two days after the murders. We knew him and he knew us and been to my house. I don't understand why he would help him in any kind of way. He was aware of the murders at that time. Dana Weatherby with Camden Police says Woods is in jail on a $100,000 bond. And charged him with hindering apprehension uh, or prosecution of Joy Worthen. And with the department receiving over 500 tips since June, Chief of Police Boyd Woody personally put up a $1,000 reward for any information that leads to Worthen's arrest. I've never known him to do that. That lets you know how, uh, how important this is. Please call the police if anybody sees him. I mean, my daughter and my grandson, they deserve justice. And it's, it's just so frustrating knowing he's out there and my babies are gone. Hanging up decorations and balloons on the front porch. I don't like being here. This is not how Angela Cannon thought she'd be celebrating her daughter's 21st birthday. I just wanted to make sure that we celebrated it for her. Alyssa Cannon and her four-year-old son Brayden were killed just inside this home in June. The 25th was two months. Their killer, believed to be Alyssa's boyfriend, 23-year-old Jory Worthen, has not been seen since. I can't even explain it. It's been hard. Camden Police and U.S. Marshals believe Worthen could be in Alaska or Canada. Anyone knows anything, just Come forward. And showing up with candles and balloons. Yeah. Dozens of friends, family, and strangers gathered in Alyssa's front yard Wednesday. Happy birthday to, to wish her a happy birthday. We were going to have fun. Like, we had made big plans for her 21st birthday. Angela says seeing the support is encouraging. But it's Alaska, Canada, the whole United States. But the past two months have still been difficult for everyone. A grandmother shouldn't have to bury kids, grandkids, or great grandkids. And with every candle and balloon. She's not in here. And it hurts. Angela hopes Alyssa and Brayden are watching from above. They were two beautiful people, two beautiful souls. And I love you, Alyssa and Brayden, so much. And I hope they catch all the balloons that we send. An Arkansas man suspected of killing his girlfriend and her four-year-old son is potentially near Georgia. U.S. Marshals are searching for 24-year-old Jory Worthen, who has not been seen since the murders in Camden back in June. THV 11's Melissa Ziguit shows us why one tip has detectives believing he's still on the run. I'm told detectives have received close to 1,000 tips since the murders almost six months ago. This week, a woman says she spotted Jory Worthen at a gas station in Georgia. Tonight, the victim's family says he needs to be brought to justice. This is me, Jody, and Alyssa on my daughter Brinley's first birthday. Pictures of Alyssa Cannon. It's a good picture of her. And her four-year-old son, Brayden. This is Brayden's first snow. Decorate Desiree Bogus' house. We did birthday parties together every year. Alyssa was her best friend. She was sweet. She was always there for me. She says their murders back in June will never get any easier. Like Thanksgiving was different like my brother broke down my grandmother broke down scott bogus Alyssa's uncle says with jory worthen still on the run it makes it difficult to find closure we've heard nothing at all about 
any sightings. But a tip from Georgia this week is giving Alyssa's family hope. Somebody laid eyes on him, it's yeah. a positive. She saw him at a gas station or someone that looked like him. Dana Weatherby with Camden Police says a woman was able to identify Worthen by forearm tattoos. I mean, you can change your appearance, but those tattoos are very distinctive. A U.S. Marshal is searching for him near Georgia and Florida. She did describe the vehicle and that the license plate was from Florida, but she didn't get the license plate number. My stomach has been in knots. Desiree asks everyone to take a good look at those tattoos. The tattoo on his forearm, Matthew 7, 6. Because finding Worthen will at least bring some peace to the family. Alyssa and Brayden aren't here to, to be around anybody, family or anything. And here he is, he's murdered on him and he doesn't care. Like he's just out living. A Camden man suspected of killing his girlfriend and her four-year-old son is now one of the U.S. Marshals most wanted. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Craig O'Neill. Jory Worthen has not been seen since the murders last June, but tonight, Teesfield Evans' Melissa Zigowitz has details about the major reward being offered for his arrest. We still fully believe that he is alive. He hasn't been seen in 13 months, and now Jory Worthen is on the U.S. Marshals list of the top 15 most wanted. Which is, um, you know, the worst of the worst, I guess you could say. Worthen is accused of killing his girlfriend, Alyssa Cannon, and her four-year-old son, Brayden, inside their home last June. The agency is offering a $25,000 reward to anyone that gives a tip that leads to his arrest. So we're going to put 7000 on top of that. Dana Weatherby is the spokesperson for the Camden Police Department, where detectives are still working the case daily. It's been really hard um, on, on the city, on our police department. The police department and U.S. Marshals have received thousands of tips from all over the world, but most have turned up false. But we're turning over every leaf and every stone that we can. Alyssa's car was found in a Burger King parking lot in Seattle weeks after the murders. You know, that is an easy jump across the border to Canada. And um, we have had sightings uh, even in Alaska. Weatherby is hopeful this $32,000 reward will bring even the smallest tip forward. Just be on the lookout because he honestly could be anywhere. New information tonight. Police have released new details in the arrest of Jory Worthen. Police think he's been staying in hotels in Southern California under a stolen identity. Worthen was wanted for the murders of his girlfriend, Alyssa Cannon, and her four-year-old son, Brayden, last June. THV 11's Melissa Zigiewicz was in Camden today, where police are now working to bring him back to Arkansas. This is a moment Alyssa and Brayden's family has been waiting for for more than 15 months. And not only is this an emotional day for the family, but also the Camden Police Department. We waited so long for this and just to finally get that phone call, it was just a relief. Caitlin Turner was four year old Brayden Ponder's stepmom. She and the rest of her family almost gave up hope on finding Jory Worthen after he was nowhere to be found since June of 2019. He will never know what he took from us. And us not being able to see Brayden grow up. These are pictures of Worthen taken after he was arrested by U.S. Marshals in Burbank, California on Monday. He briefly tried to run away. Investigators believe he lived in and out of hotel rooms there under a stolen identity. He faces two counts of capital murder. I just hope he gets everything that's coming to him. Plus some. Worthen is being held in the Los Angeles County Jail, where he is waiting to go before a judge to be extradited back to Arkansas. This was always priority number one. Lieutenant LaRonda Moore with the Camden Police Department was assigned to finding Worthen from the very beginning, following up on thousands of tips. And I wasn't going to give up. I wasn't going to give up. When she got the call, U.S. Marshals finally found him. It was overwhelming. I just want them to know that I really do appreciate it. This arrest also fulfills the promise she made to the family. And that's uh, justice for Alyssa and Brayden. Once Worthen is transported back here to Camden, he will be put in the Wachita County Detention Center. In a THV 11 update, Jory Worthen is officially in the custody of Camden Police. 16 months after he allegedly killed his girlfriend, Alyssa Cannon, and her four-year-old son, Brayden. Worthen has been on the run since their deaths and was captured last week in California, where he'd been staying in hotels under fake names. As he was brought into custody today, 
Alyssa's mother, Angela, thanked the police department for never giving up and trying to find him. I feel like I can grieve the proper way and can find some peace finally, knowing where he's at. Jory Worthen faces two counts of capital murder. He's expected to face a judge tomorrow afternoon in Washita County. Now we turn to a THV 11 update into another high profile case here in Arkansas. Jory Worthen, the man accused of killing his girlfriend and her four year old son in Camden, signs a plea deal, taking the death penalty off of the table. Worthen is accused of a premeditated murder of Alyssa Cannon and her four year old son, Braden Ponder. The plea deal means life in prison for Worthen. He was originally facing two counts of capital murder, which could have landed him the death penalty. As a part of this new deal, his charges are downgraded to two counts of first degree murder.